Did you always have that fire? Introduce us to Malala before the BBC blog, before you became a global icon. Well, I started writing the BBC blog when I was 11, so I didn't. I had a very short life before <laughs> <Yes>. that. <laughs> but you uh, gave your first speech yes. at 11. So uh, this, this yes. started early. Yes, very early, because uh, the Taliban came very early, unfortunately. Uh, before that, I was living a happy life, like it is in every story. Um, and I considered my story sometimes like a story in a movie. A movie begins with a happy life. Everyone is living quality life with happiness, and then suddenly a villain comes, something bad happens. But at the end, the villain loses, and the hero wins. And there's a happy ending. And you wanted to be a doctor, right? Yes, I wanted to become a doctor because at that time I thought that a woman can either become a doctor or a teacher if she gets education. If she doesn't get education, then she has to stay as a housewife. I did not want to be a housewife. And uh, my father, uh, he's right there, so... Um, Let's get a cheer for him. Another incredibly strong human being there. Thank you, sir. So I was studying in his school, uh, though I criticized his school a lot. <laughs> and I think no other girl would have done it more than me. So I always said the school should be nice. So I was studying in his school, and um, I always tried to get high marks. And uh, there was a lot of competition in our school. So the, the, the education like, I got right from the beginning, and I was going to school. My father was treating me equally as my brothers, though they thought that I was given more uh, attention. And uh, I think that's fine if women get like, more rights, but that's fine. <laughs> we don't mind that. Do you ever miss the childhood you used to have or the childhood you could have now? Uh, well, I do look quite mature when I come outside, but um, I, I look like 27, 30, but when I go home, I look 10 or 12. <laughs> so at home, I'm enjoying my time, and fighting with brothers is also, I think, quite nice. Sometimes I like try to tease them and annoy them. I don't share that usually. <laughs> and, what do you miss most, though, about being a private person? Well, um, at home, things are quite normal. I do my homework, so I don't feel like I am someone, uh, a, a kind of global figure. Um, and even when I come outside, this is the, the role that I, have, uh, that I have right now, being speaking for girls' education, for the education of every child. It's not something that has been given to me by someone. It is what I have decided, uh, decided and this is what I have chosen for myself. So I'm happy with it that this Malala uh, when she goes home, she's in school, a different girl, doing homework, has to obey her teachers, and then here, another Malala. So I think these are like two different parts of my life, and I'm happy with that. Um, and I think it's, it's very important for me, and I have chosen it.